After much anticipation and with mass demonstrations underway, Prime Minister Netanyahu last night finally announced a halt to the coalition's divisive plan for judicial overhaul. Acknowledging the deep rift in society after 12 weeks of mass protests and disruption, Netanyahu said, when there's an option to avoid civil war through dialogue, I, as Prime Minister, take a time out for dialogue. The Prime Minister said that the issue will be tabled until the next Knesset session, a month from now, allowing time for compromise talks. National Unity Party Chief Benny Gantz promptly welcomed Netanyahu's decision to delay the judicial overhaul, saying, better late than never. Gantz says his party is willing to enter negotiations at the president's residence with an open heart, not to defeat, but to agree. Opposition leader Yair Lapid expressed doubt about Netanyahu's sincerity, but agreed to dialogue and said the event must end with a constitution for Israel. And president Herzog said the decision to delay the overhaul push is the right thing and urged genuine, serious, and responsible talks that will urgently calm the spirits and lower the flames. And the brief general strike yesterday by the Histadrut Labor Union ended shortly after the Prime Minister's announcement. The immediate impact included the reopening of Ben Gurion Airport. This allowed dozens of delayed flights to take off overnight. The stoppage was part of widespread strikes announced by the Workers' Union in protest of judicial reform. So we know the news is volatile and fast-paced, and we want to let you know that ITV's new app is now available. So if you want to stay connected to the latest news from Israel, the Middle East, and the Jewish world, download our app now on all your devices. It's available in the App Store for both Android and iPhone.